here we have a uh, 2016 Forest River Sandpiper. It's uh, 42 feet. It has four slot outs. This is, uh, again, it's a 2016 model. It has aluminum construction in the walls. Very heavy duty insulation. Let me walk around and show it to you. Here's your, this is your docking station. Uh, you have everything in here from your pull valves to your city water connection to your water heater bypass, all your cable and satellite hookups. Uh, there's a water filtration system on this camper. There's a black tank flush right here. And you also have hot and cold water. Uh, this here will just plug in there. And on the other side, just a really big pass through storage compartment. Right here you have a switch for some LED lights that are on the front. That's for when you're hooking up at nighttime. This camper has all hydraulic slides and landing gear. It goes up and down real fast. This is the new look for 2016. Uh, and these, these caps in these campers are painted, so they will not fade out. And this is the vacuum bonded constructed walls. Huge awning on the front with the LED strip. Slam latch doors. Let me open this for you. Let you get a good look. It's hard to hold the camera and open them doors at the same time. There's the 50 amp cord. You can see it's nice how they open off to the side. You don't have to duck underneath that door. You do have a TV hookup out here. And this compartment is also insulated. There's a battery disconnect switch right here. We're trying to do the best we can to get these campers uh, videoed and get all the photos done. So it's kind of early in the morning here, but now's as good a time as any. Uh, this camper doesn't have a scratch or anything on it. It's it's brand new. This here is the fourth slide out. You have three on one side and one real big slide on this side. It does have uh, power stabilizer jacks in the rear. And it's a full walk-on roof. Uh, you can walk up on that roof with no problem. I'll go ahead and take you on the inside. Let's get a good look at the inside of this camper. As we go inside again, it's a uh, 371REBH. Also, this has a friction hin hinge door. Wherever you put that door, it will stay. The dry weight of this is uh, 13,000 pounds. It's a big one, that's for sure. As you walk in, you can see you got beautiful wood linoleum. And right here, a little closet space. You hang some jackets in here. There's some hooks. And this is where all the hookups are. All your holding tanks, power inverter, water heater, everything's right here. Your uh, slide control, you have one button slide control on this, this camper. And this has the best of both worlds. As you can see, uh, there's a door right here to my right. We'll go in there in a minute. So this is a rear entertainment model. And as we walk towards the back, you can see you have solid surface Corian counters. Nice gooseneck faucet that just pulls down. This one has the uh, booth dinette with uh, lots of storage underneath. It's really, really nice. There you go. So you have two leather recliners and then you have a uh, leather sofa bed. That folds out and makes a queen size bed. 
It's a it's not an air bed or a jackknife sofa. It is actually a memory foam bed when it unfolds. Here you have a uh, Whirlpool uh, 20 foot uh, refrigerator, 20 cubic foot. This also has a uh, this Whirlpool refrigerator has an ice maker in it, and you can run this going down a highway uh, because it has the power inverter. This is a very low amperage uh, refrigerator. As long as you have it plugged into your truck and you have some batteries on board, there is an ice maker down there, by the way. This uh, refrigerator will run. Anyway, here's a U-shaped galley kitchen. And it's just beautiful. Nice glass top here. One of the new things about uh, one of the things I really like about Sandpiper, all the drawers are made out of wood, and when you shut them, they shut themselves. They they won't pop open on you when you're driving. But if you you can't slam this door, every one of them does the same thing. It's just really nice. Throughout the bedroom, in here. These recliners will, well actually when we got this camper, these were over here and this was over here. You can interchange them. We think it makes more sense, so if somebody's sitting here watching TV, they don't have to worry about that uh, refrigerator door. Nice high ceilings. Uh, beautiful entertainment center here. A 40 inch television. And you hit this button and the TV goes away. And of course you got a nice big picture window back there. So I'm going to keep going through. There's a lot to show you in this one. I wish I could uh, do a better job focusing with this camera. So you have minimal carpet as you can see. Very little carpet in this camper. And up front, as we go up this hallway, you open this door, and here's another bedroom. That's right, this is another bedroom with another queen size bed that'll fold out uh, with a flat screen television, tons of storage, and of course, there is another bunk. Right here, I'm trying to do this with one hand is not easy. So you have a bunk, uh, another sofa bed down the bottom, and then there is your entertainment stand. This is uh, the most popular layout that they are building today with families, with kids, and even with couples because if you want to bring another couple camping with you, you can give them their private space and you as the RV owner will have your space and we'll go up here and I'll show you the master bedroom this is a beautiful master bedroom with a king size bed Another flat screen television, 27 inch. That one's a Vizio Smart TV. And again, like I said, with these drawers, if you open them, they all shut themselves. I just love that feature. Anyway, so this is a king size bed. A little cubby hole. Ceiling height's good. It is. Uh, it does have the ducted and thermostated second air conditioner. You can see how big this uh, closet is. Somebody could actually. Put a twin mattress in there, you can sleep in there. Anyway, there's a washer and dryer hookup right here. Uh, you could put a washer on one side and a dryer on that side if you wanted to. And of course, uh, there is lights in there. We'll shut this. This is uh, just a, a beautiful, beautiful camper. I said absolutely the number one layout. There's only a few manufacturers that are building 
this layout with the second bedroom in the middle of the camper. And let me go ahead in this uh, bathroom. Here is your restroom. You see you have a foot flush, foot flush porcelain commode. Nice sink and uh, medicine cabinet right here. You have storage underneath. There's all your light switches and your fan. It has a little uh, a blue LED light over the shower. And this shower has plenty of room in it. It has a seat. I'm a six foot three and I have plenty of headroom in this camper and up in this bathroom. This is adjustable. This is very nice. You can raise and lower your shower head. It's a really nice setup. This is a gorgeous 2016 Sandpiper and uh, I'd be more than happy to show it to you. My name is George and my phone number will be in the ad. If you would uh, like to come take a look at this 2016 Forest River Sandpiper 371 REBH, just give me a call. I'll be more than happy to show it to you. I know this was a long video. I appreciate you taking the time to look at it. And have yourself a great day.